Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a good day. It's a long ride day, uh, which I am looking forward to because last night everyone ripped my legs off on the T3 group ride, so I'm feeling very sore today. I'm going to go somewhere new. First though, my bike has been dirty for about two weeks, which is, yeah, I mean, let me show you. <laughs> So this is the state of the bike. Not the worst it's ever been, but definitely not very nice. And it's been like that for two weeks because, well, I've just been on the turbo, I've just been lazy, but I have got a delivery, if you can see there, of something that's gonna help me clean the bike. So first of all, before I go on my bike ride, I need to clean the bike I'm going to ride. But first I need to unpack that package. So, that's my new bike stand put up. I'm guessing this bag that comes with it is just to uh, keep the floor nice and clean. But, I'm doing it outside, so. I'll probably get told off by Lydia, but I'm not gonna use it. Oh, there we go, done and done. She's not perfect, but it's a hell of a lot better. That cassette definitely needs replacing. I've no idea where I'm going today, so I need to go upstairs, plan a route, get that downloaded, have some breakfast, have some coffee, and then we can go. I told myself I'd leave at eight. It's one past eight. Uh, this is the route I'm starting in Bath. Gonna go out toward, through Radstock, through other places that I don't know, Brunton, no idea. And then circle back, and this is Longley down here. Fingers crossed I'm allowed in. I hope, I hope I am, should be open. Who knows, anyway, back through Froome, Bradford and Avon, and back to Bath. Just shy of 55 miles, not actually that long of a ride, but um, I'm gonna keep it nice and easy because my legs are buggered from yesterday. I don't know why I always do this. It's like I forget how long everything takes. It's nearly nine o'clock, an hour later than I wanted to leave. <sighs> and I've got to leave a note by the front door. The reason why I wanted to leave early uh, was because I've got work to do the rest of the day, but also I've got a delivery to sign for, but now I'm worried that because I'm leaving too late, the delivery's gonna get here and I'm not gonna be here. So. Fingers crossed the delivery guy or woman is nice and they just leave it by the front door. But we will see. Anyway, Harry, shut up. Let's go for a bike ride. As you know, I've got a child's bladder, so I'll probably have about 10 of these over a 50 mile ride. <laughs> uh, thought I may as well nip into my first snack of the day, Mars Bar. I got a couple of these, and, <laughs> and a couple of Snickers. I doubt I'll go through all of them. If I do, I'm a bit piggy, but um, yeah. Courtesy of Lydia, I asked her to get me some uh, some riding snacks. I thought <laughs> I thought she'd take the piss and give me some like rich tea biscuits or something, but she did a good job. Cheers, love. Mm, my bike's dirty again. Wait another month before I clean it again. <laughs> in Longleat. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if technically I'm allowed to be here. There was a red light by the gate. <laughs> um, just pretend I didn't see it. Be fine. <laughs> Here we are. It is windy, but 
to, here's the main stretch of road leading towards the house at the end. Yeah, look at this. If anyone hasn't been here before. I haven't seen any animals yet. <laughs> I guess that's kind of a good thing. Don't want to be chased by a lion. <laughs> Rather not. Didn't actually see anything. I think I saw a pheasant. That was about it. <laughs> Realised I didn't go out the main entrance, so I can't get a photo by the Longleat sign, which is really annoying. I don't know what I'm going to do for the thumbnail, but I'll try and figure something out. Anyway, I need to smash it back home. Oh, well, okay, I'm not going to smash it. I'm going to ride relatively hard because I've had a couple of emails from Amazon and I don't want to miss my deliveries today because that irritates me. So let's go. Fifty-five miles, three and a half hours, max speed, 40, what a legend. <laughs> Quite a bit of climbing actually. See there's a package, I'm like <gasps> pretty excited. It's for Lydia. <laughs> it's not even for me. Might as well chuck it in the bin. <laughs> At least I got back in time for hopefully my deliveries to come later on. Oh you guys are gonna love this. Hair clippers! <laughs> I'm finally I'm, I just, I can't wait any longer. I can't wait for the the, uh, the barbers to open up again. I had to buy some hair clippers and Lydia's gonna hopefully do an all right job. I've told her if she butchers it, then I'll go full on like two all over just to really upset her. So that gives her incentive to hopefully not butcher it, but she might do. Wow, it's such an exciting delivery. I got hair clippers and a broom. <laughs> the Oh god, I look like such a loser. Yeah, uh, we got a broom because, as you may have noticed, the uh, the garage is kind of open air at the back, uh, and when it's really windy, leaves blow in. So Lydia and I have decided to get a broom. We can sweep up all the leaves. Hopefully, make it look all right. Wow, this is such a pathetic delivery, but oh well. That's a bit of a giveaway, isn't it? <laughs> I bought a. Music stand, laptop stand, whatever you want to call it, because my laptop in the garage at the minute is just on a cardboard box and it's very flimsy and I'm worried it's going to fall off. And when Lydia wants to use the exercise bench, I can't use it. What the hell? Jesus! I'm quite excited about it. It shouldn't be anything to do with triathlon or anything like that. Nothing to help me with training. In fact, it might actually do the opposite, not help me with training at all. But oh well, you gotta live a bit, haven't you? So I've got a bottle of Highland Park 12 year old whiskey and two Glen Khan whiskey glasses. They're quite nice, like little drams, twin pack. Don't know if you can see that. The reason why I've got some whiskey is basically my dad and elder brother are very into their whiskey and they've been kind of like, well, trying to get me into whiskey over the last year or so and I've not been that keen because I just, I've never liked it before at all and I've tried some grim whiskeys before and just did not like it. Um, but in the last couple of months I've been trying to experiment a little bit and try and make myself like it. Um, and uh, I found a few whiskies that I like and then when I went to theirs the other weekend for Mother's Day I picked up a bottle of this and I got it from Sainsbury's because <laughs> it, it, it read pretty nicely on the bottle um, it sounded good and it looks really cool as well didn't think anything of it when we whipped it out and had a, had a sip I thought it was incredible, so I bought myself a bottle and I bought myself two whiskey glasses as well. So if anyone fancies a drink, I know nothing about whiskey, I'm not going to pretend like I do, but 
I've kind of recently got quite into it. I've tried some bourbons. I thought they were quite nice. Um, and now I'm just trying to experiment a little bit with uh, with different whiskies. If anyone has got any recommendations out there, drop them in the comments section below. This is of course nothing to do with triathlon. It's just something, uh, something I'm trying to kind of get into and learn a little bit more about. But there you go. That's all my packages for today. This is what life has come to. Oh, I'm actually scared. <laughs> what have you done? Why? I'm worried, You're Lydia. Fine. I'm sorry. Can you just show the people what yeah. you've done to me? No, I don't want to. Okay. Don't get so, that close, Jesus. No, you need to be this close, just to really appreciate it. I have properly botched this. This. So bad. I'm never um, trusting you ever again. Yeah, so... Oh, God. <laughs> Look at the back. The back's the worst bloody bit. Okay, we're going to the back. Oh, God. Yeah, it's, um... I can't believe you've done that. I'm sorry. So, what's the plan now? I can't believe I'm saying this, but we're just going to shave it all off. Like, three all over. Blend it in, because Lydia seems to be okay with blending these in, but can't be able to blend into this hair, which is really frustrating. Look at it, there's so much of it, though. Oh, sorry, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Why have we got a flat head? <laughs> We're Why not does done. my forehead go so far back? You ready for the navy, oh. son? <laughs> Let's start with the nice big pile of hair on the floor. Looks like we've uh, killed a dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at it! Look at me! <laughs> oh, I've got it in my eye. I like the feeling of it, but I don't you necessarily think. like the look of it. I quite like it. You like it? I like it. I tidied up the beard a little bit as well. Yeah, I think beard looks... is the same length as the top. <laughs> I think it looks really neat. This is my new look for 2021. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> right, let's end the video here. Hope you guys like it. Um, and if you don't, comment below. Please don't be too mean to me. <laughs> you can tag the hairdresser. I'll, um, <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.